Opening EasyTeach Next Generation. When you install EasyTeach on your computer, it will automatically place this icon on your desktop. To open the program, double click on the icon. When the program opens, it opens to the dashboard. The dashboard has four tabs. The first tab will allow you to open up a presentation that you've created and saved previously. The most recent ones will be listed here and it's just a matter of clicking on the one that you want to use and it will automatically open for you. If you don't see the correct presentation then go to the purple browse button that you see here and this will open up your files where you can locate the file you want to use. When you're first starting you will want to open a new document. If you're using an interactive whiteboard with a data projector you want to use the standard document size, which is 4 to 3. If you're using a panel, you want to use the widescreen document size, which is 16 to 9. The next tab will show you a variety of video tutorials, which will enable you to use the features and tools of the software itself. Just click on this little arrow here to find more videos. There's about 30 that you can have a look at. You need to be connected to the internet to do this. The last tab is called the Download Center. The Download Center is where you can go and download presentations that other teachers have uploaded to the easyteach.com website. There's two ways to enter. Either put a search term here in the search box and select the search function or you can actually open it through the Open Download Center button that you see here. When you click on this, this blue window will appear. This is the Download Center. Once again, you ne will need an internet connection to view this. Uh, you have a search box here that says, Please Select. When you click on the up arrow that's there, you're able to select this, the type of activity you'd like to use or particular subject areas. In this instance, we're going to look at science, if you want to, you can type another term in the search box here and then hit the search button. This will then open up all the various presentations that are involved with science. In this case, there's 60 of them. Uh, you can scroll through here to find the ones that you want to use. Next to each one, there's a little blue eye. If you click on the blue eye, it will give you a synopsis of that particular lesson. If you're happy with that lesson, then just click on it so that you get a blue border around it and you are then going to select Download Selected Items. When you do this, you'll notice you get this little blue box forming at the bottom of your desktop and also at the top here where the Current Download tab is, you'll see that there's one there indicating you're downloading one file. When that disappears from the tab, number one disappears from that current downloads tab. Open up the recent downloads tab and you'll see there is the particular presentation that you've downloaded. Just select open and this will then open up the program for you. This particular document here has a number of attachments and uh, you're able to firstly unlock the individual um, attachment just by there will be a little padlock at the top just click on that that will unlock it and then it's just a matter of clicking on the icon and it will then open up in this case it's opening up a word document this is a live document so you are able to move things up and down and you can take advantage of the review tab here which has inking tools so you do have pens here so you are able to write on the screen there's highlighters so you can highlight things uh, here as well um, and uh, you can erase things too. And the good thing about it is that the markings stay on the actual document itself. If you do want to save these, I recommend going to File and going to Save As. And in this case, I would save it as Seeds.2. And uh, that will enable you to then uh, have those markings recorded. If you don't want to save it, just hit the red X here and uh, select on Save, and it reverts back to the original. The other document that you have attached is a PDF file. Once again, unlock that and then click on it and it will open up the PDF file for you. 
Uh, this is a live document, so you are able to move this up and down. Um, you do have this box here called Comment, and when you click on that and then select the highlighter, which is the second icon in, you can actually highlight things on the screen. You've also got the ability to underline things as well. And there are pens here too, so that you are able to write whatever you want on the screen. This once again is embedded into the document, so you are able to go to the file once again and save as, and save it as seeds.2 as a PDF file. If you don't want to save the markings, just hit the red X at the top here and say no, and it will revert back to the original. When you finish using this particular presentation, then um, you will notice that when you open up your dashboard once again, that particular presentation will appear under Recent Documents. And once again, you can click on it to uh, open it up. If for some reason it's not there, you will always find it on uh, acti under Activities. If you click on the red, uh, the circle uh, E that's here, then uh, select Activities. When you install Easy Teach, it automatically installs a folder onto your desktop, onto your um, computer, under Libraries, Documents, and it's called My Easy Teach Downloads. When you click on that and hit Open, it, you'll then be able to locate the particular presentation you're looking for and hit Open, and once again it will open up uh, for you. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. For further information, contact us at the, the address below or by email or by phone.